Welcome to Stickman World War II. We need to find out what kind of secret weapons the enemy's working on. Now, you can see this bearded fantastic man up top. That That's my general. And right now, I think we should build some miners, which is kind of funny because in World War II, the way you get money to fight wars is to mine it out of the ground. It's impressive, isn't it? But we have a massive enemy invasion. Well, it's going to be happening presently and we need to be ready for it. So oftentimes I find that the best way to have less problems is to have more money. And more money means more machine gun men. Uh-oh. Okay, we, we may have been a little bit slow on building our defenses, but we can always retreat inside and then we've got some snipers on the roof. So while the Imperial Japanese Army, the stick version anyway, approaches with a bayonet charge, yelling, It'll take a bonsai! We, uh, we don't really have to worry about that too much. So let's get back to work and look at our machine gunners. They're very strong. Like, these guys are carrying what looks like 50 caliber machine guns. They got, like, their belt fed, right? Those are the big boys. So my thinking, oh... Oh, okay. We may have light machine guns, but they're bringing light machine guns as well. But we've got more than them. We is better than them. So I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue in these early missions, in the early part of our World War II campaign. Now, let's see. How many miners do we have? We could maybe afford one more. And then it's all machine gunners all the time. Now, you can obviously see when looking at this game, you're like, wait a second. This looks awfully familiar to me. It kind of looks like... That other game with stick guys. The units are the same, the way you attack and defend are the same. This looks really similar. I mean, there are some differences, but it's basically the World War II version of Stick War Legacy. Attack the enemy! Look at that. And for some odd reason, all the weapons sound like you've got silencers on them. Now, we've got a couple of other units that are gonna become available over time. One of them looks like an artillery piece. If we go to the armory, submachine gunner. Oh, we can't see anymore. You know what? I'm really interested in evolving our miners so that we can produce more money. But those are the only units that we have right now. So it's off to the next mission. Destroy the enemy base. All right. As per usual, we're going with the tried and true method of acquiring currency so that we can build units to defeat our enemy. For some odd reason, the Imperial Japanese base has like a robotic looking HQ. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I don't really need to. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you attack me. Don't you attack. You know what? He's, he's rushing me. He sent a machine gun rush. I've got one, two snipers. We've defeated him relatively easily enough. We're gonna buy two more miners. Oh, they've got a flamethrower. He's got like the pyro mask. He's got fire coming out of what looks like a super soaker. But that belies his deadliness. I'm wondering if we're gonna get like tanks, because tanks would be amazing. Now, as far as beating helic, uh, beating flamethrowers, I'm not sure what the best method of doing that is. Those guys probably are anti-infantry specialists, but you know what else is anti-infantry and specializes in it? Dealing with infantry? Bullets. Bullets? No infantry unit wants to get hit with bullets, right? So I think we're gonna be fine. It's just a matter of how good are those machine guns. So let's see. They've got three guys mining, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. But you're right, guys. Like, why have five when we could have more than that? I mean, I can't argue with that logic. Luckily, with you guys in my war council, things should be looking pretty good. Now, one of the other things we can do is it looks like we can increase the speed for a short amount of time. So let's see, I've got an army of 21. They've got four flamethrowers and three light machine gunners. Should we send in a charge? Charge! And then let's just queue up a bunch of LMGs. So how good are these flamethrowers? They need to get close, but man, do they just roast you when they do get there. The issue is I think the AI targets whoever's closest. Not necessarily who's the most dangerous, but in this case, the person who's closest is the most dangerous. So, oh yeah, we are destroying the enemy base. I can't wait till we get artillery. I'm wondering what that is going to be like. That might be like a supremely powerful weapon. But this is the fun part, remember. Evolving our soldiers. Now, I think this is probably the best bang for our buck. Their movement speed goes up, their mining speed goes up, and their capacity, the number of gold bouillon they can bring back to base is higher. And we like that. 
I don't know what this secret weapon's all about, man. For some odd reason, my miners have went up in cost, I think? Weren't they 110 last time and now they're 120? Is the more you evolve a unit, the more expensive they get? We'll get a singular rifleman to help defend. Now, I think they're gonna have to defeat these sandbags. That'll take a little bit of time. And we're just gonna let them do all the work. Uh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, that's bad. They're getting through that real quick. If we have to, we can defend the base. Okay, they got a flamethrower. Pull back! Pull back to the city! I always feel like whenever we're getting attacked and we need to defend... Oh my god, that flamethrower roasts base. Roast base? Roasts my base. Roast base is like you've had too many wine coolers on Thanksgiving and you're like, please pass the roast base. No one knows what you're doing. But look at that. We've got a, a much better army to defend with right now. We could probably give it to them if we wanted. Let's speed this up so we get some quicker mining. We do have a few magic spells available. What are some of these? What is that? You can call them rocket barrages? Uh, some kind of weird multi-rocket launching tank. The enemy's attacking us. Attack them back. All right, we won that one. Now, should we push the issue? Probably soon, actually, so we can kill maybe a few of their miners. That way, they lose their ability to produce gold we maintain ours, and, well, we should be able to win. All right, boys, send in the special forces. By special forces, I just mean my forces. They're special to me, right? They should prove more than adequate to do the job. Let's go on a raid. I would like to kill at least two miners, three. I mean, if they're just going to stay there. There's one. We missed. Ah, pull back. We need overwhelming force. The enemy is retreating. It took a while for them to get back into production. Now, I want a couple riflemen because I feel like they might have a little bit longer range. They also hang back behind the machine gunners. We need to see how well they work. I mean, I've got 10 of them queued up right now. This is not an issue. It's a matter of how overwhelming do we want to be? You know what? Once we get two lines of riflemen, we charge. Now, their men have bayonets on their rifles. I haven't seen them get too close to where they could melee damage. Another thing that's interesting is we have four men on a front line in this, whereas in Stick War Legacy, you have five. So the front lines are a little bit bigger in Stick War Legacy. Oh, good. We never get any of the miners, but that's okay. If we defeat their base, hey, sweet, sweet victory. All right, we have unlocked the flamethrower. Now we've seen how good they are. It looks like there's a bazooka guy left. Next mission. Repel the enemy attack. Okay, I'm gonna get two of those and then one machine gunner and one rifleman to repel an early assault. Oh, never mind. Hold on. They're gonna attack in two minutes and 50 seconds. So all we gotta do is mass up gold. I mean, that's a pretty big force. Like that's a, that's a giant bonsai charge. Now we could do 2x speed. So let's see, if they're sending riflemen, I don't know the natural counter. I don't know if it's flamethrowers. I don't know if it's light machine gunners. Um, I know that most of our upgrades have gone into our economy. You know what? I don't think, I think it's light machine guns. Look at this, I'm getting so much gold. This is beautiful. So if they've got five lines, so they have 21 riflemen with bayonets. Now it'd be really cool if they bayonet charge, but I don't know if there are. I'm gonna try to counter them with machine guns. You fire one bullet, we'll fire more. And hopefully we win that way. And then after those lines, we're gonna get riflemen. Oh, a minute and 20 seconds. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure once the riflemen start coming in, cause I think they build a little bit faster. If we have four lines of men, I think we win. Pure speculation. I mean, we can always use the base if we get really, really desperate. Like if there's one guy left, we could retreat and our riflemen on the base would defeat them, in theory. 30 seconds until invasion. Oh yeah, we've got it. You know what we could do? We could flip this on its head. Counterattack! <laughs> hey guys, uh, I see you're mustering to attack us. Watch, watch us just like destroy you. Oh yeah, this was the way. This was the way to do it. Counterattack! They weren't expecting this. No one suspects the Spanish Inquisition. No one! Oh yeah, we wiped the floor with them the enemy look at that that general's like i'm so pleased with you boys today you gave them freedom i don't yeah what i could upgrade my base but i don't think it really does anything like the best thing i can do is upgrade these guys all right let's check the map okay so at some point there's an airplane there's a battleship there's victory day there's red heat whoa this goes on and on this is a massive massive campaign especially considering 
how short, relatively speaking, Stick War Legacy was. Destroy the enemy base? No problem. All right, we're going to do a little boosty time. Uh, the enemy's sending a flamethrower. Are they going to attack us? Yeah. Everybody retreat in. We'll hit them with our riflemen that we're building. They do really good, but not good enough. You know what? Let's get some flamethrowers of our own. Backed up by riflemen? I think that's going to be a potent combination. I do like the speeding up time thing. That's really nice. Now, how big is our army compared to theirs? We is better than them. All right, boys, just just keep doing it. Oh, yeah, they're going all flamethrowers. Hmm, I think we could probably take them right now. Let's do a little skirmish. Flamethrowers, like, our riflemen should get the first shots off? Yep, okay, just barely, but they did get the first shots off. Flamethrowers just roasting each other. 2x speed, go, go, go. Now these flamethrowers versus that base. Yes, flamethrowers destroy stuff. I mean... That's their job, right? One more mission. We're almost to the airplane. All right, this time I got some riflemen early just to counter their charge. not So I don't have to force my men to go inside. They also didn't attack me as a result, which is interesting. I guess we could be the ones on the attack this time. No, 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 no. They got a flamethrower. We would lose that engagement, I'm fairly certain. Get a few mi more miners. Speed things up. Get more rifles. Could do a rifle charge. Oh, see? They, they thought they could take us for a second. I'm doing a mixed force this time. I'm gonna have all three unit types that are available to us. Because remember how good flamethrowers were. I'm curious if there's like a force multiplier if you have all units combined. Like if there's all three, then riflemen get the first shot, machine gunners lay down covering fire, and flamethrowers just roast the enemy? In theory? All right, yeah, they've got two lines. We've already got three. We don't have any mach- Well, no, we do have a few machine guns. Flamethrowers do take a while. All right, we're gonna skirmish. We're gonna try to take out their army. They have a lot of flamethrowers there. It's hard to tell because the guys overlap. Like, I actually had two flamethrowers there when I thought I only had one. Push the issue. Oh, wait, this skirmish might be enough to defeat the base. Yes, it is. Holy goodness. All right, we're almost to level three. Ah, uh, yeah, it bumped up their price. I don't like that. I like upgrading my men without having to pay more for them, okay? One more mission before the plane. Is that like a boss, maybe? Maybe it's a boss that we have to fight. All right, we get the two riflemen, which usually, yeah, gets them to not attack. That's good. I wonder if you just didn't build any money and you just used your starting force to, like, rush them. Would that be enough to win? I think we can skirmish with them right now. I mean, we've got three riflemen and machine gun versus two machine guns. We don't really have a lot of levels up, though. This was a tactic I often used in Stick War Legacy, and that was just to, like, keep pushing them. Can we sneak a miner? Come on, come on. Ah, oh, almost. All right, we're going in. Yeah, they got one guy. That, that, this should be enough. This should definitely be enough. All right, now the question is, what are we about to face in the campaign? We haven't really leveled up any of our soldiers, except for our money supply. So this is it. What is this thing? Samurai, okay. I went with all riflemen at the beginning. Once we have a big squad, I'm just gonna push. I, I don't, this is definitely a divergence from my usual strategy. So we've got six men, they've got a dude with a bazooka. Okay, how good is he? Oh, he's got AOE. Please hit him. Oh, I was going to say hit him before he gets that second shot off. Yeah, all of that force is weak. That really sucks. Yeah, and they've got, they're just going all bazookas. So mm, I don't have like artillery or airstrikes or anything like that. I'm trying to think like something to soak up the damage. Machine gunners, a few of them, and mostly rifles, I think, would be the play. That way the machine gunners soak up the bazooka rounds and the riflemen do the damage? That's my theory. I have so much money right now, probably because I invested heavily in my economy. They have one guy, and I have a whole army. Okay, once this flamethrower's here, we're attacking. Buddha! I mean, we're the Americans, so it's more like, hi there! Wait, I, that was a pirate. I don't know, what would our charge? I guess it's... It's nothing special, you know? All right, 2x speed, hit that base. Yeah, they roasted, McToasted, boys. We did it with bullets. That poor machine gunner died right at the end of the battle. We've unlocked the bazooka, though. So let's see just how good he is. So we didn't get a fight, a Japanese painted B-25 bomber, but we got a bazooka. So we'll go one bazooka and then like six miners. Yeah, why not, right? He should be able to hold the line. Like, what are they gonna send, a rifleman? Go for it. You make, you feeling lucky, punk? 
Come on and make my day. Oh God. Retreat before the bazooka guy can hit us. All right, that bazooka sucks. It does. Good, we got the bazooka guy. Actually, we should be able to counterattack. Now, where does the bazooka guy line up? At the same distance as Rifleman? Hmm. Then we do want some guys in front. So the bazooka guy doesn't take a lot of damage. The best way to do that, cheapest way, is machine gunners. We've, oh, they got a second bazooka. Dang. I'm going, yeah, we should invest heavily in bazookas. They did too, though. I feel like more, like, as many bazookas as I have. I buy bazooka, he buys two bazookas. All right, we've got, what, three right now, and they've got four. Now we have four. For some odd reason, you don't get to keep 2x speed down. All right, this has got to be enough. Gentlemen, go. We outnumber them. Oh my gosh. This is chaos. How did they win that? They won that? They just won that. What just happened? I don't even know, honestly. All right, they're not out of bazookas. Guys, that was weird. I think they just got the first shot of bazookas and it wrecked my stuff. Yeah, like it doesn't, it's the AO, the blast. This is, that's not a balanced unit. We didn't do exploit that. See, that's not a bad thing. That unit's imbalanced. Well, maybe. So use it yourself. <laughs> Three bazookas, a lot of rifles, four bazookas, five bazookas. Would we win this? I mean, hopefully, right? All right, like maybe one or two more and we charge and see what happens. They take so long to produce. That's the issue. All right, who wins this one? If we get the first shot. Yep, we got the first salvo of bazookas. Wow, that singular bazooka just pushed like half my squad back. This is nuts. All right, 2x speed it. Go, go, go. We got two bazooka boys. They're so tanky too. All right, all right, we got to retreat. We got to retreat again. Jeez, goodness. This is chaos. Hmm, I don't know. They're very tricky with how long they take to build. Well, let's give it to them. They got the first shot. Not good, not good. We have more men though. This is surprising, honestly, how tricky this mission is. Simple math, more bazooka, attack. Splash damage on those things is nasty, man. Oh, their base is so close to being defeated. I have more money than I know what to do with. All right, this should be enough, this rifle push, because their base is so weak. Come on. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was getting ridiculous. So this has been Stick War World War II. If you guys want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'm going to see you in the next one. But first, let's unbox that. Ooh, nice. Thanks for watching. See you next time.